Aw, yeah guys, as many of you already know, I'm a huge fan of 200cc in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys what I believe are the best shortcuts and strats in Wave 5 of the Booster Course Pass. As of always, drop a like if you find the video enjoyable, and be sure to subscribe and put notifications on for more Mario Kart content like this. Alright, so starting off, here we are with Taurus Athens Dash. As you guys already know, this track is pretty complicated. Lots of blind corners and turns. The first thing you need to learn though is the shortcut. Hop on top of these two pillars, immediately land on the left side over here. That way you can get prepared to make this jump into the inside of the Colosseum. That way, you know, you save so much time doing it that way than going wide and hitting a wall. Over here, you want to charge into a UMT going into the second lap and then immediately start drifting to the right as you hop down to the grass. Use a shroom if you can and land on the left side. That way you have more space and you're not next to people on the right side. I notice there's so many more people on the right side. As you get on top of the hill here though, I never trick here because I can prepare myself to take this right path. I personally don't like going the left path or even the middle path as much. The right side is just much faster. Entering a lap 3, you can take the cut here if you have a shroom, but the most important part you have to do is trick off these stairs. If you can hit this low trick here, that would be amazing. You save that much time doing that that way. I also don't personally trick in this part here, but if you want to be fancy and land on the curb, be my guess. I couldn't do it for the life of me. But yeah, other than that, it's straightforward. Just shroom across this grass patch. So yeah, that's like my take on Athens Dash strats. Here we are, Daisy Cruiser. Less complicated, but still some stuff you need to know. Right side is always faster, especially with the fact that you can double trick off of here. If you can do that, you save much more time that way than going on the left route. Another thing to know is this pretty much S bend. You want to like be sure to maximize your mini turbo here. I never mini turbo towards the end though, because I feel like if I do that one extra mini turbo at the end, I will bonk my head at the wall. So make sure you do it sparingly. That's like the word for this track. Do mini turbos sparingly. If you think you're going to hit a wall, don't go for it. But other than that, it's just trying to time save by cutting a lot of corners such as this side and doing the same thing over and over again. Here we are, Moonview Highway. Top route here is actually faster than going on the road. Just make sure you don't hit the truck or anything at the beginning. Otherwise, it renders that route useless. Now, this part is pretty self-explanatory. Hit as many of those boost panels as possible. However, you don't have to chain every single one. If you think it's not worth it because there's a car in the way or you just don't think it's faster, then don't take it. Take ones you know that will minimize your time. Other than that, try to cut as much of the track as possible, but also anticipate for incoming bomb cars. You guys already know how much people freaking lag the bomb cars in this game. Sheesh. The only other advice I can tell you guys is the fact that you also want to be snaking on this track whenever possible. No boost panels? Use a character like Yoshi and Teddy Buggy. Broke and literally charge mini turbos for days. Other than that, this track is a speed oriented track, so you don't have to worry about mini turboing all the freaking time, but it's nice to whenever you can. Okay, so here we are with the last track of the Feather Cup, Squeaky Clean Sprint. First thing you need to know is charging up your mini turbo and landing on top of the sponge all the way on the left side. Now, it's way better to land on the sponge rather than going straight down because the water is going to slow you down, literally. So yeah, always stay on the left side and you can also trick off of them to get more of a boost. Now, as you enter the drainage system, be sure to charge your mini turbo. What you want to do is hopefully shroom through the ring while still holding mini turbo. And then as you realign your cart, release the mini turbo. Then don't trick, but instead trick on the screw. That way you can realign yourself and get a trick at the same exact time. As you're exiting, make sure you charge into a super mini turbo or even a UMT. That way you can potentially reach the top route, which is actually way faster than taking the bottom route. Not only is this track beneficial for the end of the lap, but as well as the beginning. Because as you can see over here, tricking off of the sink makes you go a little faster. And other than that, it's pretty much the same thing all over again. Land on the sponge if you can. If you miss it, oh well. Try to come back to the game doing the rest of these strats. Going through the ring, as well as realigning yourself with the screw, double tricking, and hopefully taking the top route. Moving on, here we are with Tours Los Angeles Laps. Now I know what you're thinking, shroom immediately in the off-road part of this beach. Wrong. Do not do that, save your shrooms for even of a better cut. Yes, this cut right here after the surfboards. Immediately shroom here, making sure you don't hit the crabs. This saves way more time using a shroom there than rather in the beginning. Side note, do not go on the ramps on top. In 200cc, it's just gonna make you go flying, you're gonna accidentally half pipe, and not even have a chance to take that surfboard cut. In this part of the track, you just want to utilize as many mini turbos as possible as well as getting as many coins to maximize your speed. Just make sure you're not hitting walls like a crazy person. 
But yeah, once you go across Dodger Stadium, immediately start your mini turbo. Then as you get on top of this sidewalk here, immediately hop, missing most of the lawn. That way you don't have to waste a shroom, which is amazing. It is necessary to know this cut in 200cc. Now immediately after that cut, there is a little bit of a sidewalk skip. If you can land on the sidewalk without hitting this telephone pole, be my guess, but I think the telephone pole is still fine to hit because it kind of saves your alignment. This is also a strat to know because if you don't take the sidewalk cut, it will be very, very difficult to not hit the curbs because these corners are pretty brutal to make. The oil section is pretty self-explanatory. Make sure you take this glider ramp. That way you can get two boxes here if they're available. And finally, to do lawn cut, immediately charge your mini turbo until you get UMT and release as you make contact in the right side of the curb. Hop over that and you should be able to skip a majority of the entire lawn. Just make sure you don't hit the wall like a stupid person like me. And otherwise, it's a straight way to the finish. Aw oh yeah, so now here we are with Sunset Wilds. This track is more of a short and sweet type of track and I absolutely love it. The first thing you need to know is this cut right here that you probably see in a lot of world records. Here's how you do it. Immediately charge your mini turbo and aim in between the dirt and the mud. If done correctly, you will be able to go across without losing your mini turbo. Once you're at a straightaway, you can release. Go over these two ramps. Don't trick the second one. That way you can start realigning yourself for the second cut. Now to do this cut, aim right after this yellow wall and don't use a mushroom until you're a little bit in the dirt for just a couple of seconds. Once once you're in the dirt, use a shroom, that way you have enough speed to take this ramp right over here. This allows you to do two cuts with only one mushroom. This is extremely valuable if you have three mushrooms. Towards the end of the track, I usually like to charge a UMT, that way I can hop over this crazy section and mini turbo till the end. And just like GCN Daisy Cruiser, it's pretty self-explanatory. Try to do the same strats over and over again. Just so you know, doing this world record strat isn't that crazy of a time saver, but if you can manage to do it every time, feel free to do it. At the end of the day, milliseconds matter. All right, so here we are with Koopa Cape. Koopa Cape has some shortcuts, so hear me out. The first shortcut is right after this trick ramp, immediately shroom into the grass cut. Then realign your car to be able to do a mini turbo, but on the right side of the second ramp. This will put you in position for the next cut. Start your mini turbo, and as you get on the grass of this part of the map, hop to do a little skip. This is what I like to call the Koopa Cape grass skip. Also, if you don't know already, you can trick right before you enter the underwater section. Do this so you can get a little mini turbo as you enter. While inside, try to hit as many spinners as possible. And upon exiting, you want to start drifting to the right as you hit these boost panels. This will set you up into the waterfall skip. If done correctly, you can basically go through the waterfall section without a shroom. If you want, you can shroom across, but getting a UMT is a lot better because why not save the shrooms for a better hook? And yeah, just like any other track, it's trial and error, practice makes perfect, utilize these shortcuts as much as possible. And finally, here we are with one of my favorite city tracks ever, Tour Vancouver Velocity. One thing you can do is trying to trick off this ramp and immediately getting another trick as you hit the tip of the second ramp. This will give you a little bit of a cool low trick. However, the fun has only started. As you enter the suspension bridge section, immediately start veering to the right. Hold a mini turbo and let go as you get to the apex of this jump and land towards the middle. If done correctly, your cart is perfectly aligned for the next bridge. However, if it isn't, you can totally just use the left end of this ramp and trick off of it and land in the middle of the second bridge section, which still pretty much does the same thing. I think this is kind of faster, but it's a little bit more difficult to do. The last bridge section is pretty self-explanatory. Hit all the spinners, but also charge up into a UMT. Let go as you get into the glider. It's way faster to let go of a UMT rather than tricking over here. Okay, so here we are with lap two. I don't like tricking in this part because I feel like I'll fall off, but you can if you want. The most important thing though is tricking off the first lamp and landing on the edge of the logs. If you do this correctly, you're going to execute a low trick. However, the most important cut you need to know is in the park right here. Hold your mini turbo until you get to this part of the map. Once here, use a mushroom. This will allow you to align yourself to get to the glider ramp section. And just like lap one, make sure you hold that MT until you get to the glider. Trick off one of these ramps to get extra boost, and please make sure you tilt your cart before entering the arena. If you do not tilt your cart a little bit to the left before you trick off the section, you will fly and hit a wall, or shy guy. 
so make sure you do that. The rest of this track is pretty much tricking sparingly. You do not want to trick in every single trickable section that you see, otherwise you're going to hit again more walls. Lap 3 is definitely the shortest in Vancouver Velocity, so you want to make sure you don't make as many mistakes as possible, such Ooh. as this one. But yeah, if you play your cards right, you should be able to vibe and hopefully have a shroom for the last mini cut. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching my best shortcuts and strats for Wave 5, specifically in 200cc. If there are any other shortcuts and strats I miss, be sure to put them in the comment section below. I would love to learn from the community. As of always, be sure to drop a like if you did enjoy today's video and subscribe for more Mario Kart content like this one.